Hi there, this is Steve Miley, the Market Chartist on behalf of ForexTraders.com and we're now looking at both the Australian and New Zealand dollars, both maintaining bearish themes in here that we've seen in here from late April um, and both looking um, for those to extend potentially into the second half of May. So first of all here, the Aussie dollar in here, we see this significant sell-off in the Aussie, Aussie dollar in here from the, the middle part of April in here, um, taking out supports um, and as we broke down through the supports in here down at 76.40, that re-energized the intermediate term bear theme. More recently as well in here as we've gone into early May, taking at the bottom of this kind of wedge pattern in here so rejecting a more positive tone and although um, over the last week we have had some kind of rebound effort in here the market repeatedly fading back from below this 75 84 89 area more recently from 75 uh, 66 and just now um, in the in the last 12 hours or so i um, setting back in here below from below 75 48 all this this leaves bigger picture and bearish pressures and we're looking for bearish extension below 74 10 down towards lower targets 73 72 targets as we go into the second half of May. Um, similar, but even a more bearish theme reading here for the New Zealand dollar. A triple top pattern that we wrote about in our last report here on the break of 71.51 um, and so seen an acceleration still lower. So very shallow rebounds in here and we've just had an, another shallow rebound in here this week but the market again setting back in here from 69.38 looking more bearish, looking for a breakdown through 68.49 and looking for a deeper correction for lower targets into the second half of this month. This has been Steve Murray, the Market Chartist, on behalf of ForexTraders.com, and I wish you a great trading day.